Then I will say get Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. The two are the one of them. <laughs> hi my beauties welcome back to my channel if you are new to this channel my name is susan jepson and on this channel we talk about beauty fashion and lifestyle so if it's something you love to see please consider subscribing to this channel and also hit the bell notification button and see down below so that you'll always be notified whenever i upload a new video and guys in today's video we'll be talking about perfume i just made some new purchases they are hot they are smoky and i just want to share them with you guys so i love perfume because perfume does influence our mood the explanation is plain and simple guys it is psychological smells and fragrance smells and fragrances directly influence our physical and emotional mood so that's the reason why you hear some people saying when i smell this perfume i feel certain kind of way because perfume perfume is nothing but emotion so it's like expressing a feeling but it's it's something that you cannot say it's something you feel so it gives you different different kind of mood i think sometimes you hear people saying sometimes you go to bed guys not just hear people say but sometimes you go to bed you maybe stress up or you broke you wake up in the morning knowing that you don't have anything that much but after getting dressed and you just spray this perfume you inhale it and the next thing you're feeling rich some perfume makes you feel rich some of them make you feel bougie some of them makes you feel very sophisticated so all of those different different things and for me i think perfume is one of those unique accessory i'll call it accessory because it's something that take your takes your look from one level to the next you can just be casually dressed, but after using your perfume, the next thing you, yeah, it has elevated your look. So we'll be looking at some recent purchases, purchases that I made. So let me share with you guys and stop talking. So my first perfume I'll be sharing with you guys today is from is by Chanel and is Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Guys, I have been hearing about this perfume and. I've not never really thought on buying it because a lot of times I hear people describing it as being very strong and you know I'm just not a fan of very very strong perfumes. I don't want to be to smell masculine, you know. I want to be I love fruity, I love sweet, I love floral. But guys, when I went to the mall the other day, I did the little did spray the one of the perfume I'm going to be sharing with you guys, which is by Valentino and this perfume. Guys, the both of them, they were just competing. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I never thought I would fall in love with this perfume this much. And I'm like, I see why people have been raving about this perfume. So, wow. This is everything. So this perfume, when I spray it, like we're talking about feelings, you know. When I spray this perfume, the first word that comes to my mind is elegant. I picture the I picture this elegant classic lady who driving her nice car, paying her bills on time. She's always looking neat. I will use this perfume, like maybe going for a business meeting or kind of conference. I mean, just those kind of occasion because this one put it puts me in a bossy kind of kind of mood like being a boss chick i mean just being very responsible that is the kind of feeling this perfume brings to my mind and the way i feel so i will want to wear like a suit or maybe the way i'm dressed like this today because some perfume makes you want to dress like either being naughty being frisky just like that so this perfume guys i don't know how to describe this my goodness this is so so good. It's this the projection is there, the longevity is there because when it's when I spray it that day, it lasted very, very long with me. Let me give you the notes. So the notes, the top notes in this, the top notes in this perfume is orange, bergamot, and grapefruit. So that's the first thing you smell. And I think okay, the grapefruit is like coming out a little bit sharp and the orange. Yes, the orange. So you get that kind of sharp scent from the beginning when you spray it. Then the middle notes, the middle notes, that's when you, you get the rose coming through, the jasmine and lychee. This perfume will keep you 
oh my gosh, just feeling so good and so positive. You know, sometimes perfume gives you that. They, they are very, very good for the brain. They give you that kind of positive feeling. The way you wake up in the morning and you, you just want to be positive and you end up achieving that you feel good about yourself. If you are not a lover of perfume, start doing it now because it helps the brain. It's very, very good for us. Now, the base notes in here after your 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 first note, your top notes, the middle notes, the base note that is going to take you through for hours after you have set on your skin is the patchouli, the vanilla, and the musk. Oh my gosh, then that's the time it start like when it's musky that is when you hear people saying that it's, it's too strong like like a men's column but it's not that way it's not that kind of a strong it's strong in a beautiful way like a strong woman an independent woman a woman who knows what she wants because a woman who knows what she wants she usually gets it guys don't play with us women we have everything we have all what it takes is just for us to put our mind to it just the mindset so that's the notes in this perfume and I'm glad I have it. I love it. Love, love, love it. It's Coco Mademoiselle. It's Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. So now let's go to our next one. The next one is like, I don't know which one of my favorites. Let me start. So our next perfume, the second one, guys, is Valentino Donna, born in Roma. Oh my gosh. Oh, this perfume. So this one, when I inhale it, you see I'm sniffing this card because I have it on it, guys. This one, when I inhale it, the first thing that comes to my mind is intimate, sexy. Yes, I would love to use this perfume when I'm going on a date night with my husband. Or if you have your boyfriend, your fiancé going with that person. Or a first date. You know, perfume tells stories. That's why you see people get attached to certain perfume, like a, a guy or a female. The perfume, perfume or cologne they used to smell on the partner, somebody that you're already in love with. Whenever they inhale or smell that perfume or cologne, it reminds them about that person, the first date where they met. It's all about memory. So that's why you don't play with perfume. Always make a good first impression, especially when you're meeting somebody for the first time. Don't joke with it. I believe in first impression because it speaks a lot about you. You don't have the opportunity to say everything about yourself just for the time that you and that person will meet. So let your appearance do the talking. The way you smell, your fragrance, I mean everything, your hair, your makeup. Let it speak for you. Then you can explain those other things that your body cannot say or they not see on you. So when I think about this perfume, when I inhale it, like I said, I think about being intimate. It's, it's sexy, kind of sexy for me. So I would definitely want to wear something like this. See how hot this is, guys. Oh my gosh, this is a killer. It's a lingerie, but I'm going to use this one as a body blast. But at this moment, when I'm using it in the night, then you know I'm, I'm feeling this way. And I'm wearing this for my husband. This is what I want to be in bed with. This is the white one. So any one of the two, imagine you, this is a killer. Imagine you wearing something like this, spraying this and lying on a clean, nice white bed sheet, you know. And your guys, then the whole room, this scent has taken over the entire room. This perfume is really, really sexy. It's so, so good. Wow, I can't get enough of this perfume. Guys, this perfume smells so good. If you don't have this perfume in your collection, it's time for you to get it. This is so sweet in a very good way. Like I said, when I think about this perfume, when I smell it, it's, the feeling it gives me is being very sexy. Hot. Oh my gosh. Let's, let's get to the notes. So the top notes in this perfume is black currant, pink pepper, and bergamot that's the top note oh, and the pink pepper in here when you ever you hear about pink pepper guys i've noticed that in any perfume just grab it run for it like you're running for your life oh my gosh just grab it pink pepper is very good now the middle note so let me see at first yes i think i got the pink pepper i got the the cur the black currant i can smell the, the i can smell the bergamot in it 
<sighs> it smells so good now the middle notes after it dries down the middle notes you find jasmine sunback you find jasmine and jasmine tea so that's the middle note oh yes after it's settled for some time then the base note you have bourbon vanilla yes the vanilla you will smell it up right away after some time and the perfume is long lasting i usually i started spraying it since i got it guys i was spraying it nights when i'm going to bed because usually i love soft very soft but powerful but i mean in a nice way not something i want to take me to office not something i'll make me to think about business meeting i mean something that will settle me to sleep something that i will be sniffing and just wrap myself to sleep because i usually spray something but most times i use like my body sprays that i get from victoria's secret or some of those reasonable perfumes but since i started since i got this perfume i started using it and i'm just in love with it so the base note like i said the vanilla the, the cashmere oh the base note i didn't call the base note the base base note you have the bourbon van, vanilla you have the cashmere and wood so that woody smell that smoky that makes you feel like that woman this perfume streams intimate sexy for me that's the vibe I guess I get from this perfume. And if you haven't tried it, try and get it, guys. You are going to enjoy the Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Now, our last perfume, guys, see this box. Usually, I'm not a box keeper. When I see people doing it, I'm like, well, guys, some of the boxes, like this one, when I saw it, oh, my gosh, I think you can see it. This gold wire cell that on this box. This is just so, so pretty. Why is that livery? And just how the box is pretty. Let me tell you something. This perfume, when you think we have already said it all, this perfume, it tells a lot of story. And this is what I got. So I actually, this is the intense, and this is just the livery into perfume. But because she wanted me to have this sample, so she just took this one, the intense, and put it in this box because. I wanted the intense because the intense guys i can't believe i'm the one talking this like i said i don't like very strong perfume but some perfumes are just in a very good way that you cannot resist them this perfume guys i'm already excited for my perfume that's the reason why you need perfume to switch on your mood make you feel so good about yourself make you feel beautiful because we all want to live long and at least we can't remain young forever but you want to take good care of yourself and all of this help and everything comes from the brain the brain what you tell yourself guys is what take over this whole body so now let's get to this perfume i'm not going to discuss the into perfume because this one is a little stronger than this one this both smell the same way but this is the intense so i'll just be giving you the notes in this one so if you don't like anything too strong then you can go for this one but i mean it's in a very good way the strong is in a good way if i'm telling you take it from me and look at the bottle let's discuss this bottle it's strong it's everything oh this perfume is streams the first thing that comes to mind is sophistication sophistication is bougie a, an expensive woman rich that's what I think about when I think about why a library a beautiful lady just like this bottle just like this perfume is so beautiful now let's spray that why is a library oh hmm guys oh I can get the matter in orange right away the lavender oh my gosh hmm guys this one extreme sophistication a sophisticated lady a lady who is smart intelligent she's responsible she's always on point always on time she pay her pays her bills her credit cards take good care of her business that's the kind of lady i think about when I think about this perfume, this is everything, guys. This smells so, so good. Spicy, sweet, in a very good way. So the notes, let's talk about the notes. The top notes in this perfume is lavender, mothering orange, black orange, and petagrin. This is what you get from your first, the, the first notes when you spray this. These are the first notes. 
Now the middle notes, you find lavender, you have orange blossom and jasmine. Guys, oh, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle on the side competing again. It's standing out. Oh my goodness. Because that's why I spray on my hair, on my wrist, guys. But now let's discuss this. This perfume, if you don't have it, you need these three perfumes in your collection. But if you just get one, if you don't have the money to get all three, guys. Let me finish with the notes, then I will tell you which one to get. So like I said, the middle notes, you have the lavender, you have orange blossom, you have jasmine. Then the base note, the one I will take you through, and this is very, very long lasting. I sprayed this one in at the mall. It lasted with me a very, very long time, guys. I have the sample here, so I've been spraying it. That's why I just sprayed this. They gave me a sample of this. So in the base notes, you have Madagascar, uh, Madagascar vanilla, you have musk, and you have cedar. Oh my gosh. This perfume smells so, 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 so good. It puts you in a kind of happy mood. Like I said, it makes you feel like that woman on top of the world. If you want to be that lady, you just want to get into that mood, start using your perfumes. Make good use of them. They help our brain. Because I think when we inhale them, they got something in our brain called limbac. So it takes smells towards to the brain and store it to where we have our memories. We have our our moods our feelings the way we feel so it goes straight there and once it goes there you start to act that way so between the three of them i don't know guys which one already take but if you don't want to get that one it's all about going to your work and you want to represent yourself you want to be that lady that people people will see and take the time to talk to you because perfume the perfume does those things and make people to be careful how they address you. Because once they smell the perfume, they say, damn, who's that lady? Wow. Then I will say, get Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. The two are the one of them. I don't know how to choose between, between these two. I can't even talk anymore. But I don't know how to talk between these two. I will say, get one of these. But also, given this, please do not disturb Chanel dough holder when i bought this perfume i was just blessed that i got a lot of extras i will use this one which maybe my husband myself travel we're in a hotel and you don't want to be disturbed you put it there because in our house right now it's just my husband and I, our kids are not here yet so we don't need this <laughs> so okay that will be the end of this video guys like i said if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and also hit the bell notification button and let me know so you can always be notified whenever i upload a new video and let me know your favorite perfume among these three if you have it if you don't have it which one you think you're gonna get and also let me know your recommendations on perfume that i will get and i will see you guys in the next one bye